Hello, everyone. In this lesson, we will learning how to check our current working directly, how to create a new working directly, how to start Jupyter Notebook from this new working directly, and how to create subfolders from the dashboard of Jupyter Notebook. A working directly, uh, also called a working space, or a folder where we stored our codes and files. Writing and running codes need a working directly. Let's check uh, our default uh, current working di directly, uh, also shorter for uh, CWD. Now we open our terminal and run these codes line by line. First, we start Python. Python, you see, the tell us our Python is 3.9.7. Yeah, that we uh, inst uh, installed. Uh, then we uh, import the library OS. Then we type path is OS get current work directly CWD then hand enter then print path no you we can see the uh, current working directly on my computer is C user segment Okay, let's exit. Usually, you know, we don't want to uh, see our uh, folder or our files uh, in this default folder. We want um, we want another one like in uh, disk D or disk E or disk F or whatever other uh, disks. Let's do it. Current uh, create a new working directly is easy. Normally, you know, on Windows we are just uh, click the right button. We find a new, then folder, then change the name of the folder. It's very easy. But here, we are learning how to uh, create uh, a folder from our terminal. No, we are just uh, type cd, uh, change directly to disk d. Yeah, for example, we we create a folder in d. Then we type make m key. Dr means directly. Uh, let's create a folder named workspace. Uh, you can name anything like a Jupyter space or Python study or Jupyter study or whatever you like space. Let's check. No, you, you see there's a workspace folder in disk D. No, let's uh, learning how to start Jupyter notebook from this new working directly um, uh, director uh, directory directly there are several methods here i introduce uh, three methods the first one also is the normal one people like type cd for example d work space then we enter this uh, working directly. Then we type Jupyter Notebook to start uh, Jupyter Notebook from this uh, working directly. Yeah, let's, let's do it. No, we are already in uh, this folder or working directly. You see, because a new folder, there's nothing, not, no files in it. Let's close it. Uh, 
let's see the method two. If the path is very long, here is very short. You can type, yeah, we can type easily D workspace. But if very long, like D workspace, then another uh, subfolder is Python study. Then another one is Jupyter notebook learning, something like that. Yeah, it's very long. Yeah, we can do this CD. We can food, find the folder, for example, this one. We are just a copy. Copy, then paste here. Yeah, this is uh, the method two. Uh, also, the easy one is we just type CD, then we press. Uh, the left button of the mouse, just hold and drag into the terminal. Yeah, it's the same thing, press enter. This is another um, easy way. Another one, the matter three, is we can go to the working directly, direct. Now then, Press the right button. Here's uh, the terminal. Open in our terminal. Just open. You see, it's already access the uh, this folder. Our working directly. Then you type Jupyter Notebook. Let's do it. Jupyter Notebook. No, let's create uh, subfolders from uh, the dashboard. Where is it? Here. Let's create uh, subfolders here. We just go to new. Then we hand folder. Then there's a untitled folder. We just click, then rename. For example, we uh, established the one called data, uh, which used to install data in the future. We create another one, for example, like uh, the na name is I images to install the pictures or photos, figures, then rename. Okay, this is the lesson. Uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, hope to see you in the next uh, lesson. Thank you.